together it's called actually I wrote this myself it's called go hey babe you ought to go and tell go and tell go and tell hey babe you ought to go and tell I speak it right now consciously Hey babe, you ought to speak your mind, speak your mind, speak your mind, and babe, you ought to speak your mind, I tell you right now, consciously. Busting out a bridge with your heads above the clouds, watch the Twinkies roll their skin to a hundred pints of pounds, leave for breakfast and for lunch, make a shadow by the shore, bring the babies to the house and the kittens to the door. Swing the labels on the street because I can't see where that light Dance a thousand times around, jumping the rams with a kite Insinuating by the goose, rusty dives in the hall Driven dreams by the load and sweat in the fall Here we go, just a little bit further Here we go, right now My hands are weak and I'm getting older Gotta take a break Noodle by the virus in a tin can machine Dwayne and Trinkies and the dogs to a meal that is lean Pack a bullocks by the head, sing an oriental song Paint a daughter and a mama with surrealistic thongs Eat a bucket full of puke, spit out worms by the pint Tell me if I'm doing wrong or if I'm doing right and if you talk about the press, will you leave me by the shore? For I'm feeling kind of drunk, so I'll relax by the door. Thank you. <laughs> the season. Summer's got its troubled again about true nature. It has manifested itself on so many, yet it still has its way on those who'll never yield to its presence. The sun has refused to be comprehensible, but incomprehensible is only the sun's pretext. And in one's course, including my own, this pretext is very baffling. We have carried these celestial ashes for so many years, through ages and ages, from seed to seedling, and still the rays are vivid. The rays are fully vivid. Nevertheless, oh, nevertheless, we will end this path on account of being humiliated by the light. Therefore, its essence will burn in the pit, and we will no longer be rejected by its faceless perversities, by its endless complexities, and by its petered nonsense. On this day, we will see it as being comprehensive, and beyond summer's rays, we'll find that autumn has just begun. Rock and roll car ride, disturbing sounds project from the radio. Turn it off or turn it down, a mother shouts. Creativity runs through my bones. Inspiration, perspiration, I love it. Toyota's on a tail, we slow down. I look through the restaurant windows, time's a checking, but not time yet. Hoping, waiting for an enjoyable dinner, we sit. Chaotic sounds travel hither and thither. Cross-eyed fellows and beautiful blondes passing by on foot. As mother and I stroll away from car, rusted by acidic weathering, I carry the weight of 19 years and stag staggered aimlessly to restaurant door. Window seat, waiter's smiling eyes like miniature supernovas. A swell dinner and hugs galore. Picking a right meal, not wrong. Leaving a touch in my body and leaving the rest for love. Thank you. Thank you. 
Warren Milk, none, none such poetry, none such poetry, none such poetry. Hmm. Part one. Goran milk surrounds the mind of the organic leather gloves. I then take my chocolate towers and caress your electronic spanking devices inside heaven's black hole. When we break hard, we break the backs of Buttafuoco's liver in my spam taco. Watermelons make way for the nosaholics. But when my mother's dying at the wheel, I take a break and relax. Part two. Grains of sand destroy Cubit's cupcake as he sits down for a nice cup of tea. All the St. Bernard's dance to the Nutcracker, and I drink to fork the Spam. Part 3. Zipper mouth silence. We must return to our musical beds. I laughed at duck hawks in purple tights with shades. Skull magic. I bring to you the loners and perverts. They sleep alone at night in the milk machine. Vavoom! Dreaming of highballs out in dirt and Levi's. Part four. Robotic fun. Why am I leaving you in my dressingly, disgusting, disturbingly goddamn life? I came as a bellboy, but now chewing nets is my part-time, free-time job in this dressingly, disgusting, disturbingly putrid, organic, orgasmic, bloody year of Buddha. Part 5. Spotting the Twinkie at my house. Ate the bread that I bought for Dove. Jumped the kingdom on the root stack. The brother is long forgotten. Thank you. <laughs>